My name is Adrian Hernandez. I started coming to Neighborhood Ministries fourth grade summer, I'd say. That's the when I have the last memory, I mean the first memory of me attending. The way I found out about Neighborhood Ministries was one of the neighbors told my mom about Kids Club and that's how I started coming. She like I remember my first uh, year was fourth grade and I came with my little cousin. Like they signed us all up because we were just like we lived in the neighborhood right in front of it and it was just part of the community. A big thing, like a lot of kids were going to it, so it was just one more, well, like two more kids added on. My favorite memory as a kid here at Neighborhood Ministries would have been like the first year I came, meeting Brian, because he was very impactful in my life. After my first year at Kids Club, him and Kay and another person, uh, I'm not sure it was Kay or Katie, uh, another person with kids that worked with Neighborhood, they came to my house and um, they started talking about a mentorship program. I wasn't sure what, what what it was about. They were just talking about inviting me to eat. I mean, to me and Brian to go out to eat, hang out, um, and he would just be there for me. And and where they got me was at eat. I was I've always been a chubby kid, so that that's where they got me. And I was just excited, looking forward to it. And ever since then, um, I remember Brian would take me to trips, to, like not to trips, but he would take me to. Um, he took me to Wet and Wild, took me to the movies. I remember being in his car and it was like the nicest car I had ever been in at the time. It, it was just a great experience. He felt like an older brother, someone I looked up to, someone I respected, someone I was just happy to be around. Someone like, I remember he'd call my mom. I'd be so excited when mom would be like, oh, Brian's here like uh, calling you. And I'd just be like, I don't know. It, just, it was just a good feeling. And mind you, he didn't have to do none of this. He wasn't my cousin. He wasn't related to me. He didn't owe me anything. And as a kid, I didn't really understand that. But now like that I'm like more grown, like it's crazy that someone would do that. Someone just go out of their way to like spend time with you, uh, buy you food, take you to places like a movie theater uh, and just amusement parks, anywhere. Or just hang out with you, go play catch at the park. Like simple things of just being there. And um, I'm really thankful for that. I feel like that was a great moment for me. I feel like that helped, that did a lot for me. And I also feel like I owe that now to like the future kids of the like, neighborhood. I have to pay that back. It keeps me coming back. It keeps me uh, feeling grounded because it, it, I just know that without the help of the people around here and people around school and other people I met throughout life, like I wouldn't be here. I feel like I'm driven and pushed by kindness and a lot of that was found here at Neighborhood. The fact that Neighborhood Ministries has been around for 40 years, it's, it says a lot. It's very powerful. It's very exciting and it's just something that's moving all of us for the next 40 years. What can we contribute? How can we help? And I'm just excited for what they've done, for the way they're growing, the campus, like from where they started to what they're at now. It is very powerful and it just means a lot.